What's going on guys? Brutal Life back with another video and if you watched a very recent short that was posted to my YouTube channel, I went through a flea market haul that I received this past Sunday and in that haul was one of the dirtiest WWE action figures of all time. Damien Sandow has been sitting in a sandbox for ages and we are going to restore it in this video. I'm going to show you exactly how I go about cleaning old beat up slash dirty WWE action figures that you may find at a flea market or a garage sale or buy used on eBay. I'm going to show you exactly how to clean them up, what to do, and how to make them literally pristine. We're going to get some cool before and after photos of this Damien Sandow. He's going to be the test subject of this video. He's going to be spick and span by the end of this thing. Stay tuned and let's show you exactly how to clean your WWE figures. For a quick look at this Damien Sandow, you could really see how dirty it is when you look at the light blue knee pads. See all the dirt and grime in those freaking things and the white boots. The white boots might be tough. Don't get me wrong. This thing might not be 100%. It's a very, very dirty figure, but we're going to try our absolute best. We're going to take care of business. We are going to restore Damien Sand. Ow, if you know what I mean. We are here at the sink with the Damien Sandow figure. This is where you're going to want to start. You're going to want to start with the sink. I do have a very stiff detail brush right here and how these work is like it's basically just a bunch of bristles on an end you could also use a toothbrush a toothbrush a toothbrush will literally do the same thing anything with bristles to really get in like the crevices of the figure and different things like that so we're going to turn the water on and then we're just going to get it wet first see what we're working with we're going to get it wet and then we are going to start going to town on it Here, Damien Sandow, relatively clean. We need to make sure this thing's 100% clean, so we're gonna put some soap on him, just like that, and we're gonna kind of rub it in. All right, guys, we got the figure fully clean. As you can see, it's dripping wet, so we're gonna wanna get a little microfiber or any towel or paper towel and just dry him off, just like this. Make sure he looks good. Man, he cleaned up really well. Still some minor scuffs on the chest. I'm gonna show you exactly how to remove the minor playwear scuffs and how to add eyebrows, dude, and fill in these little black areas. Let's do it. Into the next step, as you can see, we have some nail polish remover right here, as well as a paper towel. And if you get used to WWE figures sometimes, you can see like these scuffs right here, the red, like just the random scuffage around the arms right here. The secret anecdote for that is nail polish remover. I'll show you exactly how to apply some to the figure and what to use. We got the paper towel right here, so you're gonna wanna just dab it like that, just like that, and you can let it spread a little bit. And then you're gonna come up to the figure, and then you're gonna go just like that, and then you're literally is gonna take that red scuff right off. Careful when you use it around like logos. Say if you're using it around, say if there was like a logo right here and there was a little scuff right here, careful doing it around there because it will literally take off everything. See this little red mark up in this corner right here? I know it's very subtle, but if you run the nail polish remover right over it just like that, boom, gone. Look at that, literally gone. See this little black scuff? We still have the same dab that I already did that I already used the nail polish remover for. Look at this, this one's gonna be a little stubborn on us. See, it's a, yeah, it's a little stubborn, but we're gonna we're not gonna give up on it. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going just like that, and boom, that black scuff is gone. How crazy is that? Don't mind this. This is just some of the dirt and grime, I believe, from when the figure. Yeah, when I was cleaning the figure. But yeah, look, literally takes off absolutely everything. See on the back here. I'm not gonna use it here because it will probably take off the white paint. So I, well, let, let's test it out. Let's test it out. So we have the uh, nail polish remover. We're gonna see if it starts to take off the white paint. And I could feel it coming off. Yes, see? See how it's taken? Literally, this is just a test for you guys. I don't recommend doing that. The snail polish removal will literally take off absolutely everything. I got some on the white skin there. But I just want to show you guys how freaking powerful this nail polish remover is on WWE action figures. So definitely be careful when you're using it around other paint when it's not the skin tone because it will literally mess things up. Into another little tip and trick for uh, restoring and fixing your WWE figures. As you can see, we got 
the Damien Santa right here. Look, his eyebrows are gone. But if you look even closer, the mold for the eyebrows, if you run your fingernail over it, you can feel the eyebrows. So all you have to do, you don't even have to buy paint. If you have a Sharpie marker laying around the house in your school bag, I prefer using the, the fine tip one because you could really like get close on it. Like you're able to draw it in. Hold on. Let's activate the marker a little bit. Like you're literally, take your time with it. I'm kind of going fast. But if you really take your time with it, you could really make it clean. I, I got a little on his eye. Uh, but this is just a demonstration. I'm just trying to show you guys. Here, we're going to go on the other one here. Look at that. Fully on there. Look. Bro literally has eyebrows now. Once again, I messed that one up a little bit, but it was just a test just to show you guys how to do it. And if you look in the hair, there's a little scuffage. You could literally just run the Expo marker, or not the Expo marker, the Sharpie marker right over it. And if the person has like blonde hair, this won't work, obviously, because this is a black uh, X, uh, Sharpie marker, but... If you run it up the top here, you could literally cover all these scuffs. Or you could just buy black paint and use a paintbrush. But if you don't want to go out of the way to buy the black paint, which uh, I never really like to do that, uh, just use a little Expo marker right on the top and you could cover all of that. How cool is that? And once again, I'm, this is just a demonstration, so I'm kind of doing it fast. And here's another figure that my dad did get from a flea market, a classic John Cena figure from like 2012. You can tell by like the green armbands, but look at the chest. See all this play wear, dude? Don't worry. This stuff is all removable. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get our trusty nail polish remover. And you're just going to run it over these scuffs. Just like this, and some will be more stubborn than others, believe me. Look at his freaking right peck right there. All gone. Literally insane. I don't know what's coming off his chest there. It might actually have been the plastic, uh, which is insane. This nail polish remover is very strong. Once again, careful with how much you use. You don't want to absolutely destroy your figure because it could literally happen. You could literally destroy the paint. Uh, depends on where you use this nail polish. You could literally clean up the chest just like that. I think it started taking off some of the plastic, which is absolutely insane. So once again, please be careful with how much you use uh, on these figures. But dude, look at all the scuffs. They're all gone. It's all skin tone. We got to clean up his head a little bit. But uh, yeah, there's the John Cena. Those are some quick Fun little tips and tricks on how to restore your WWE action figures. Yes, this Damien Sandow looked like absolute crap at the beginning of this video, and now it looks like somewhat presentable. Look at that freaking head scan. Once again, that's how the eyebrows turned out. The scuffs are off the chest. I just cannot stress it enough. Careful with how much nail polish you uh, use on these figures. You can literally damage your figure so easily if you use too much and too much force. Just play with it, mess around with it, maybe test it out on a figure uh, that you don't really care about before you test it out on a figure that you really care about. Um, but yeah, this Damien Sandow turned out really well. Uh, and yeah, we cleaned the snot out of him, man. He looks really good. Now he's going to be part of my crowd. But once again, I really got enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more like this, let me know down in the comment section down below. Red Alive is signing out. <laughs>